Hi everybody, Al from the Chaken Workshop here. I want to show you one of my works in progress just to give you an idea what I like to do and how we do it and what woodworking means. I really like a good cup of coffee and I like K-cups. They're convenient, they're quick, and you get any flavor of coffee you want. Even decaf if coffee's kind of making you jumpy. So one of the problems with K-cups is that they're not recyclable. You got four components to it. You got the coffee, you got the lid, you got the little filter, and you got the little plastic cup. All of which just go tossed in a landfill and they take forever to degrade. Since everyone does source recycling here, and I'm in Maryland, I don't know where you are, but I'm sure it's a good thing for you to do. I figure the best way to do this is to build a device which can allow you to dissect the K-cup, take it apart, break it down into its core components, and then you can keep going. You can, for about 50 bucks, buy a box from Amazon. I'll put the link down there for you. And that will allow you to just dump your K-cups in a box, seal it up when it's full, and send it away. And somebody else will recycle it for you. That can be good if you don't have time. But if you do, you can make an individual effort to keep the planet green and take care of some of our waste. It's a start. So what I did is I made something very simple. The concept is a, a board with a hole in it so that you could take the K-cup and you can take the coffee in it after you cut off the lid, just go like that, and away it goes. All of the coffee goes through the hole into a little container. In this case, I have a container that has a plastic bag in it. So when it's full, like here's about two weeks worth of coffee, you can take it and you can just seal it up and bring it to a friend who gardens put it out with the compostable waste, or sprinkle it around your house plants. They'll appreciate it. Coffee is grown in volcanic soil, and let me tell you, it's very rich. It makes a great compost. Roses in particular really like the acidic coffee. So that's my gardening tip from a guy who does not have green thumbs. In any case, this device, like I said, it's a work in progress. It's a dollar store container sitting below a board with a hole in it with a lip around it so that the coffee doesn't go everywhere and it's very simple all you have to do is take a knife cut away the top carefully pound out the grounds and then rinse it off in the sink so that you could pull off the paper filter when it dries and separate it into its k-cups paper filter and lid and dispose of them appropriately this is about a week's worth of K-cups. And they add up really fast. This is if you only drink one cup a day. Right into the recycling bucket. No need to put it into a landfill. If you're really concerned about the environment, especially if you like fresh ground coffee like I do, you get one of these little recyclable cups that's a permanent filter for a Keurig. All you do is Put a scoop of coffee in here, close the lid, use it. When you're done, take it, let it sit for about a day, because I have, as you can see, I have more than one of these. Let the coffee dry out a little bit, so you don't have to scrape it out of the, out of the cup, and just pound it on a board, and boom, you're done. That's the whole trick to it. A lot of people have asked me about this device since I made my original post. I wanted to make this film to show a little bit more about it and give you a feeling for how passionate I am about the environment and about Corrig K-Cups in general. This is something that is made in the USA. It's locally sourced. It could be made out of pine, oak, any local wood. You don't need me to build it for you. If you want the dimensions, I'll happily send them to you. And this is something I may even put into commercial production if people want it. If you feel it's worthy of a Kickstarter or a GoFundMe campaign, please write me, let me know, let me know you want one, and we'll start that off. I would love to be the provider of devices that help us recycle more effectively. So I want to thank you for watching. Keep reading The Chankin Workshop, and 
I hope to hear from you. Feel free to share, like, upvote, clap, Instagram, Vine, Tumble, whatever your social media is, feel free to share this. Thank you.